I'm Mr. Grenler, and here are my creatures. Welcome back to another episode of Mr. Grinder's Creatures and on today's episode we are down on the floor by the table and we are going to rehouse a Theraposa apophysis. So I think it's Theraposa, I think that's how you pronounce it but I'm just going to call it a T apophysis. So the special thing about this is I've not actually got any Theraposa species at the minute so I believe there is a T Sturmy, T Blondie and a T apophysis so there's three in the whole genus but I haven't got a single one yet so this is something very big for me today because we have got a Theraposa apophysis I believe it is a five centimeter and it is unsexed cost 50 quid absolutely cannot wait to unpack this my first ever Goliath guys my first ever Goliath so I've got a camera set up there one just there one air one air there's cameras everywhere let's now have a look at this Theraposa apophysis because I absolutely cannot wait to unpack this so I have got an enclosure built for it already let me just take the lid off nothing too drastic but Nothing too special, but it's basically just topsoil, a bit of moss. We've got some cork bark in there. As always, you got to have a water dish, and then the uh, soil is just, just a tiny bit damp. It's uh, nothing major. It'll probably dry out within a couple days. Hopefully that will do the trick. So let's open this up. Very excited, so. Veraposa, apophysis. This is exciting. I don't really know how this is wrapped up, if I'm honest. So yeah, I've never ever had one of these, uh, never ever in my life, and I've always said to myself, I'm not ever probably gonna have a good life, if I'm quite honest, and I don't know why I've always said that. Because uh, Apoph Apophysis is probably one of the ones I've wanted the most out of all of them. Okay, its feet is starting to come up now. So hopefully, I should start unraveling it very soon. Okay, that's just a bit of tissue. Get that on the floor. Oh, can already see it coming out. See if we can zoom in on that. So it's currently upside down. So if we just move it back over for it. Oh yeah, I see it. So again, just doing my little touchy thing because it's only a little. <laughs> Going off the tissue. Awesome, thank you very much. <clears throat> nice easy one. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so the Theraposa apophysis is absolutely beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. I can't believe it's it's like pink feet. The it looks like there's socks on the tarantula. It's absolutely fascinating. Right, so I'm gonna put some of this equipment away. I'm gonna get the feeders down. We're gonna have a look at this Theraposa apophysis. We're gonna try and give it a feed and then I'll be right back after.
several days later. So that is the end of this video and um, what can I say, the Ferraposa Apophysis is absolutely beautiful. I don't know how I haven't had one of these before. Like I said, Goliath's never really interested me that much if I'm quite honest. So Craig has got two out of three of the Goliath bird ears and I'm not sure which one it is. I think he's got Apophysis and I believe a Sturmy as well or it's a Blondie, it's one of them. But oh, it's just walking along now, it's just putting its feet up like... Absolutely stunning. But yeah, I really do hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. If you could like, share and comment, that would be awesome. If you haven't already, then hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon so you're notified of when I upload next. Don't forget, I've got membership now, three different tiers. So if you want to help and support the channel, then please do. There's a link down in the description. There's a join button down below. But anyway, Mr. Grin has done it. So my creatures, so my Balfouris. I'll see you next time. Peace, guys.